Welcome to Season 2, Episode 4 of the South Nurse Podcast, Teacher Talks, where you can get to know more about your teachers. I'm Lily Wu. And I'm Sarah Sun. And in this episode, we interviewed Dr. Tringali, a science teacher here at Grand Neck South High. Hello. Hi, Dr. Tringali. Thank you for agreeing to do this short interview for us today. So we have a few questions. Sure. So firstly, could you briefly introduce yourself? My name is Dr. Stephen Tringali. I've been teaching, this is my 27th year teaching, 25 years in the district, and, um, uh, and I've been enjoying all the time here. So how long have you been a teacher? 27 years. So have you been in um, Great Neck your entire teaching career? No, I started teaching at Northport, and then I came over in my fourth year here. So what made you choose to teach science, or why did you choose to teach biology? Well, I have a very extensive background in sciences, biology, chemistry, all the different sciences. Um, with my education, when I became a chiropractor, I was a practicing chiropractor. Uh, I graduated in 1985 from New York Chiropractic College and uh, had a very large practice uh, in the early 90s. And, um, and then when managed care started to hit, that's when I started to look and started to think about doing a career change um, and going into teaching. So how do you think, um, as a chiropractor and as a teacher, how do you think those two careers are similar? Well, they both, by teaching the sciences, you know, they both hev heavily rely on each other in terms of your understanding of uh, biology and chemistry and anatomy. But also, you know, as a practicing chiropractor, it's really educating your patients all day. So I was educating my patients every day, you know, in the office when I was running the practice. And that really carries over into teaching as well. So what are some of your hobbies or pastimes? Well, I'm a musician. I play trombone on the professional level. Uh, I play piano. And um, so I really enjoy that. And I'm looking forward to, to um, doing that uh, more as I, when I'm retired. I do perform with a couple bands right now, and uh, we have a show scheduled uh, already in January and February. And again, like I said, when I retire, I'm going to be looking forward to taking that to a bigger level, which would be nice, you know. Um, I like to fish. I like to just, um, you know, garden and uh, take care of the landscape. I enjoy that stuff. Do you play um, jazz trombone or classical trombone? Oh, it's all it's all jazz, big band. Um, I mean, I played classical, but that was more when I was younger and I was in NISMA and things like that in Allstate. Uh, but um, now it's pretty much all like uh, uh, rock, blues, jazz, you know, a whole repertoire of that, soul. That sounds really cool. Oh, yeah. So can you describe um, some of your favorite gigs that you've done in the past? Well, my favorite gig, two of my biggest gigs, was um, a performance I did at the NYCB Theater in Westbury. Uh, I, I played with a Elton John band, and uh, we did a concert with, a, with another band called Almost Queen. And um, so it was the Queen Band and the Elton John Band, and it was really cool because it was the first time the NYCB Theater was, did, had a sellout for, a, for cover bands. Yeah, so that was exciting. And then I did a show at the Paramount where my band opened for Foghat. Foghat was a very big rock band back in the 70s. And uh, you should look it up. It's really, they're, they're, they're amazing and they're still around. Their drummer is actually from Long Island, or uh, lives on Long Island. He's actually, uh, I'm not sure where he's from, but he lives on Long Island. And um, that was a great show, too. How would you describe your sense of humor? You got to have fun. You know, you got to have fun. Uh, it takes too much energy to be angry, less energy to have fun. Uh, you got to enjoy every day, live every day like it's your last, because you never know. You know, my mom was a teacher, and she had retired, and uh, she had passed away a, a year after she retired. She actually had come into my office, and I'd taken an x-ray, and she had uh, lung cancer, you know, and, uh, and then passed that, that following uh, November. And I just said, you know, when I started teaching that, you know, the, the first chance I get to go and retire, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be looking forward to that because just to get out and enjoy that part of your life. Because every, you know, every life's a new chapter, you know. And I have one granddaughter, she's two, and I have a grandchild on the way, a little boy that's due May 15th. So that baby's growing as I'm going through this year, which is exciting. How do you um, find South High to be like 
unique or different from other schools? Well, it's hard to say because I'm I've I've been here so long that this is what I really know. You know, um, I'd like to see uh, with South South High it would be nice if we saw more um, school spirit, so to speak, outside of the building. You know, with with uh, events and stuff like that. You know, because that was something big in my life. You know, you know, you had um, different. Uh, homecomings, homecoming dances, this dance, that dance, and just to see a lot of that outside, you know, you know, supporting the sports and stuff. That that's just, you know, to make a, a good all-around person. You know, people to go to concerts. It'd be nice to see more people going to those events to support the kids, and you know. Would you find your own experience as a student growing up sort of like helps you understand the students that you teach? Oh yeah, I'm. You know, I. We, we, were all, we were all kids at one point in our lives, and I'm still a kid, I'm just a little, got a few more years, that's all. You know, I might be 61, but I feel like I'm, you know, 21, I act like I'm 15 sometimes. You know, like I, I like to have, again, it's, it's to have fun and really enjoy time with people. Um, but yeah, you know, you learn, um, you know, you kind of like, I always tell the kids, it's always easier to walk through the minefield through the footprints of the person who went before you, you know? So when they come in with issues, I kind of like, they, you know, they tend to come and talk to me because you know, I counsel them and tell them, get them through whatever issue they might be going through, you know? So as you all know, you're the advisor of the debate club here. So why do you choose to do debate? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's actually just getting more involved you know, as you get closer to the end of your career. Um, just, you know, I'm trying to do as many different things as possible. Uh, enjoy more time with the students and uh, you know and, and just again you get to work with them and help them out. So looking back at your you know 25 years to South High, what is your best memory from this place? My memories are more of a um, um, an attitude and that is to enjoy every day. You know, so to say like I have specific memories, it's hard to say because every day was was a fun day for me. You know, like I always tell my kids, you got to have fun because if you don't have fun, it's just another job and we don't want another job in our lives, you know. And, um, you know, they say if you if you love what you're doing, you never work a day in your life. And that's true. You know, if you if you if you enjoy it, um, then it's really it, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a great part of your life. So specific memories I don't have of that because every day I always enjoy it as, much, as fully as I can. Uh, I do particularly enjoy when I performed with the, um, the bands in concert or uh, for the plays in the pit orchestra, you know, things like that. Um, going to different events like the junior event or the prom, seeing the kids, you know, when they grad, you know, when they, you know, at the prom and that night and when they graduation as well. You know, those are like key events. I've, I've like filmed several um, performances of like faculty residual and I always like see you uh, performing there. It's like it's really amazing. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the recitals. I told you, yeah, there's some, you know, the, the recitals as well. Yeah, those were a lot of fun, you know. And it's great for the kids too because they have to see another side of the teacher, you know, because you just see us as a teacher. But you know, believe me, this is a small part of my life. There's so many other things that I do, you know. And we have one final question. So what's the best thing about working at South High? The best thing about working at South High? And as a teacher. Is you get to chat with the kids and go through the day with them. You know? It's all about being around people. You know? And the education will just come from it. So that's all for our interview today. Thank you so much, Doc, for having the time with us. You are so welcome. And thank you is brought to you by The Southerner, Great Neck South High's newspaper. It is hosted by Sarah Sun and Lily Wu, directed by Amelia Liao, and edited by Janice Lee.